A few years ago, I made a video titled, Can You Listen To Aircraft On A Bofeng? And it went on to become one of the most viewed videos on the channel. But it was a quick video that actually left out quite a bit of information. I still get comments now asking about frequencies and how to set up the radio, but the most common comment is along the lines of a Bofeng can't pick up civil airband frequencies. Now this is true, but you can listen to air traffic controllers talking to aircraft both in the air and on the ground, as well as the pilots responding, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm also going to give you a comprehensive list of frequencies for most airports in the UK. So this is the famous Bofeng UV5R two-way radio. Despite what people think, this is a great little tool for radio amateurs and listeners alike. It covers VHF and UHF on transmit and receive, which has made it so popular. And I also have to point out that the batteries on these radios in this video haven't even been powered on in five years and they're still holding nearly a full charge. Now the radio doesn't pick up civil airband which sits between 117.975 and 137 megahertz. The UV5R's receive starts at 136 megahertz FM so won't receive AM transmissions between 136 and 137 megahertz. Now most civil airports in the UK have a UHF relay. This is essentially a repeater which rebroadcasts tower and ground transmissions from the airport's control tower in real time. This is for the benefit of ground vehicles and services so they know where aircraft and other vehicles are. In simple terms, let's say the air traffic controller at Manchester is talking to an incoming aircraft and the pilot is talking back on the airband frequency of 118.625 a simultaneous rebroadcast takes place which you can hear way up in the UHF band on 455.550 FM. The tower and pilots don't hear this relay but ground vehicles do and this creates complete situational awareness for every single vehicle on the airfield. Now there are some points to note that are important. These uplinks broadcast on repeaters that are protected somewhat by interference by a CTCSS tone which changes periodically. They are monitored and any interference is swiftly dealt with so it's definitely not a good idea to transmit on these frequencies. Depending on your area you may hear traffic other than an airport on these frequencies. This is because the channels are shared with users who also use CTCSS tones, which avoids interference. For example, Manchester's tower uplink is shared with a local mosque. Neither transmissions interfere with each other, despite what you may hear on the frequency. So these are the frequencies for most sizeable airfields in the UK. Now, please don't comment complaining about any inaccuracies on this list. I've gone to the time and effort of compiling these frequencies over a number of years and there are bound to be some mistakes or changes along the line. However, corrections are welcome in the comments and don't worry if you missed it, I'll post them again throughout the video. So let's have a look at how to set up a radio out of the box for those who are starting out. When you take the radio out of the box, it'll likely have some unusual frequencies on the screen as well as a Chinese voice announcement, so we'll take care of these first. To remove the voice, press menu and then 14. This should bring up the voice menu option. Then press menu again, followed by the down arrow to select off. And then press menu one more time. This will remove the voice prompt. So now let's look at putting some frequencies in. The screen may have some small numbers to the right, which we don't want. These are test memories that have been programmed in at the factory. So press VFO slash MR to enter what is known as VFO mode. Now you can type in the frequency you want to listen to, for example, Manchester's UHF uplink, which is 455.550. All you need to do is simply type this into the radio and it will go to that frequency. 
You can save and delete memory channels and scan through them, but there are many videos online, including my channel, showing how to do this. One final thing we need to look at is the busy channel lockout. This will prevent inadvertent transmission over others on the frequency. Press menu followed by 2-3, then menu again. Press the down arrow to on, and finally menu again. So I hope this helps demonstrate how easy it is to listen to aircraft on a Bofeng radio. All of these types of transceivers operate in a similar way and are very handy and an inexpensive tool for aircraft monitoring. Now please don't comment below about me encouraging interference on these frequencies. I could easily do a video on how great fast cars are, but that doesn't mean you should go out and speed.